I'm gonna roll deep with these brownies and I don't need sweets. Tell them why I'm gonna love these brownies. Because they're made with some red wine. Yeah! That's right. These are some red wine and dark chocolate brownies. Red wine and dark chocolate brownies. Look, I'm getting crazy I already. Know, right? <laughs> oh, we're so oh. excited. So before you start cooking with wine, obviously you have to pour yourself a little. So if my you're the kind of person. Word, my first word in life was vino. I was born to be a wino. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you, Grant. Um, so what we're doing here is I'm gonna start reducing some red wine. That's gonna be the basis to our um, brownie batter. So I'm gonna pour about a half or a cup of that into here. Okay. And then you just boil it until it reduces by half and it looks a little bit like that. And it that. looks like a, like a, a thin syrup. Yeah, totally. Um, so that's actually gonna go into the batter. Um, over here, I'm gonna get started by melting chocolate. I'm using some chocolate chips and some cocoa powder because I want them to be oh, extra wow, chocolatey. Oh wow, to be really rich yeah. and chocolatey. So we're just gonna pour that in there. And this is just a double boiler, so I have a glass bowl on top of just some gently heated water. There's just Don't a little bit of steam. Don't let it touch the water, right, Grant? Right. Don't yep. let it touch the simmering water. Um, so that's gonna melt down a little bit and we're gonna get started on our dry ingredients. You want me to help um, you or you don't trust me? Totally, yeah. No, you know how to pour flour into a thing. <laughs> so, pour that flour right into our sifter. We're gonna sift that out just to make sure there's no lumps in it. That's a little bit of cocoa powder. You can throw that throw in Throw that in there. Sift that up. Um, a little bit of baking powder and some baking soda. I went, when I was testing these, I went really crazy because I wanted to find a nice medium between cakey and fudgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like it both ways, kind of. Like, I like it cakey sometimes. You want everything. Sometimes you I want like it fudgy. the world in a breath. Right, so there's a little baking powder, there's a little baking soda And salt, as well. we always say, every good sweet has a treat of salt in it, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. So we're just gonna stir that up. Now over here I have some dark chocolate in our butter. This has been um, already melted down and it's cool now. You wanna okay. make sure it's nice and cool. Let's add in that sugar. This looks like a lot of sugar because it is a lot of sugar. Um, <laughs> and that's gonna make it extra fudgy. Um, so we're, all that sugar this goes in like there. This looks like a lot of sugar because it is Because a lot it of sugar. is, yep. Yeah. The TV's not playing tricks on your eyes. That was a lot of sugar <laughs> that we put in there. Eggies? Uh, two eggs. Throw two eggs in there. Now, if you like your brownies to be a little cakey, you can add an extra egg here. Uh, but like I said before, we're going for a cakey fudgy combo. Cakey fudgy so we're combo. Doing both. And now we just can whisk I add that the up. Yep. Now we add that red wine reduction oh. right down into there. Shut the door. Isn't that amazing? And it turns out this really pretty color too. Look at that. Um, now the red wine in these brownies, it sort of does the same thing if you've ever made a cake where you add coffee to it or espresso yeah, powder. Yeah, yeah. It does the same thing where it really just highlights the flavors of the chocolate, but it also tastes like red wines. So that's not so bad, right? So now we're gonna and marry- And you get to drink the rest of the bottle. Exactly. Yay. Exactly. What's more comforting than that? Um, so then I'm using an eight by eight baking pan right here. I like to line it with some parchment because they're easy, easier, easier to lift Easier to down. remove it and cut, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you want to pour that into here, I actually I'm want it back here. I'm not done stirring, Grant. Well, Don't be stirring. so bossy. Um, I want so, to do a good job for you. When you guys bake these at home, if you want them extra fudgy, which is kind of what I like, you take them straight after they're baked from the oven, straight into the refrigerator, because that stops the cooking process, so it's gonna make them nice and like fudgy and sticky and delicious. So, now they're all done. I have one over here, and you can see the parchment just helps you lift it right out of the pan. Nice! Isn't that nice? And That's once nice. they're nice and chilled, too, they're much easier to cut. Check mm. that out. Look That's at that. That's a beauty. Look, it's a brownie for two. A brownie for two. Look at that. Brownie cheers. Oh.